you just search for alone but thing is but uh, but the thing is when you use on slide when you use on slide what happens is what, what happens is that the cont uh, uh, the content instead of displaying like how first and second displayed over here they this they get displayed on the side so three is displayed towards the left whereas three whereas fourth is actually third is uh, third is displayed towards the left whereas fourth is displayed to slightly towards the right end slightly towards the right end okay that's one animation you get so if you were to look at this in the animation mode so okay uh, first second third fourth that's animation zero first second third and fourth this is this is your animation the second animation or animation one as per the condition constraints okay, as per the commands we wrote okay now other than that do you have other animation as well wherein uh, wherein you get you have an option to alert stuff and uh, put contents one after the other now control u for remember yeah perfect now if i run this now if i run this now i'll just show you guys what exactly happens in the presentation so that you guys get an idea okay now this is where we left we left off last time so if you see this is the first bullet coming out and this bullet is in red color and now this now we are in the second bullet okay now the first bullet is now black and the second bullet is in red now the third bullet fourth bullet okay this third bullet is still in red because because I made the color background color to be red that's the reason nothing much nothing more than that but the fourth bullet is the bullet is in red color the fifth bullet is in red color whereas the fourth is in black sixth like that and so on and so forth now after sixth all the all the every every incrementing bullet is in black the thing is only when I move my cursor only when I press next all these uh, slides come over all these slides come over okay now how is that possible it's because of this option because of the usage of pause as well as this option called as alert okay now what I'm going to do is that uh, what I've done is here is that for uh, is, is that I use this comma. I use this symbol within within a tag. I use this plus or minus, and then I used a pipe symbol, and then I wrote alert, and then I put an at, and then a plus, and then closed it with a greater than symbol. I wrote a less than symbol, plus minus, pipe alert at plus greater than symbol. Okay. Now what exactly th this does is that it just passes the contents. And then displays them one after the other, and uh, and uh, the content that it displays at any instant, and that can the content it displays at any instant will be alerted with a particular color. Now what I've done here is that I've done I've set the alert color to be alert to be uh, like this. Now so the first point gets alerted and it, it gets printed in red. Okay. Now next. What happen, What happens is that the second point gets alerted, and so the first point becomes goes back to the normal state, so it becomes blue. Now the third point becomes alerted in red. Since this is already in red, you won't notice a difference. But still, you see the bullet over here. The bullet is red, indicating that this is this is the point where alert we are emphasizing right now. And then the fourth point goes red because in the next line we are emphasizing on the fourth point. But the third point goes back to the normal stage and it's indicated by the three being in blue instead of red as you saw above okay that's how and similarly if you want to go about with uh, the options you can go about with it and one more thing is instead uh, okay one more thing is you can uh, do the same alert option without having the colors for instance after press apply and okay all the every all the all step 7 step 8 step 9 and everything all of them are alerted but they don't have the they they're not they don't have the red color as we saw earlier that's because i just used this i just remove this alert at thing out of this option i just used only uh, hyphen plus plus minus that's about it now with that with this option you're able to alert without having the alert to be colored colored okay and that that's one of the animation options available so thing is 
uh, based on how fancy you want the animation to be present how fancy you want the animation to be present you can just use this uh, use this alert option or uh, this plain uh, alert option with the color or a uh, plain alert option or the alert uh, or the one or the anim or the only one only one or only two or the on slide options or the pass option whichever you like for me most in my opinion uh, for my uh, for my work most of the time this uh, pass option was sufficient for my presentation the presentation methods uh, it worked out that was sufficient and if i want i'll just use plus or minus at the maximum other than that I, and even I can generate this kind of stuff with this pause option itself, so this was sufficient for me. Uh, but if you guys are a really fancy presenters, I mean, uh, fancy presenters, since you guys are very good at presenting, and you kind of you have you want to have a lot more uh, PowerPoint or any other pre presentation like uh, slideshow like software like features, then you can use these, and you just let your imagination run go run run about with it and. Make, make your choice and other than this these are some basic simple animation of features but there are several other animation options available in LaTeX you can you just have to go and figure it out and find which one is suitable for you guys and just go about with it not a big deal okay and also one more important topic one more important topic uh, one more important topic is if you, you saw the animation color right now all this animation the alert symbols are actually red in color as you see over here, they are all red in color. Now, is it possible for me? Is is it? Do I have an option to change the color of this alert? Now, I want this to be red. In this is red. What if I want this to be blue? Is it possible for me to change it? Yes, it's possible. What you have to do is that uh, you go to the top and you there's this option over here called as backslash set beamer color. There's this command over here. What you do is that here you just you just type in the first bracket, first curly braces. You just type alert text. Okay, and then in the second curly brace you just said FG uh, equals green or uh, uh, orange. Now FG stands for foreground color, so I'm just setting this to orange. So instead of orange, let me type something blue so that it becomes a little more easy to visualize. And uh, the yeah, and see now the bullets are now they have all the emphasizing bullets are in alerts are in blue, consistent with the color theme. And if you want, you can change it, not a problem. You can just change it as per your wish, not a problem. And uh, this is just about it. And then what else? What else? And then what else? Uh, I we spoke about graphics. Ah, yeah, the the handouts part. Now, if you look at it, look at the presentation of it. Uh, uh, technically, you have only technically. Um, I mean, theoretic. I mean, to be honest, you just have only seven slides. To be honest, but the thing is, but if you look at the number of slides you have. But the, but the number of slides you have, there'll be a lot. If you look at the document, if you look at the, uh, let me just zoom this out. Uh, yeah, see, if you look at it, the, you just you just have only seven slides to be honest. But thing is, because of this animation option, each of the animation appears as a separate slide. That's how LaTeX works. That's how LaTeX works. So in, uh, if by in uh, if you were to work with a normal presentation. All of this, this one, this one, this one, and this one, you you might anticipate all of them to be a single slide, yes. But in LaTeX, uh, since it's not a since it's not a graphical software, a graphical software like a slideshow, okay, it's just a typesetting software. It doesn't have that kind of a graphical feature, so it just makes uh, just makes separate slides for each and every formatting uh, each and every formatting so that's why it is like this that's why it's like this okay to, uh, but to be honest there are only five slides okay uh, it's not no, I'm sorry there are only actually seven slides over here but they are like 23 pages honestly so if you were to print them out if you had to print them out you will have about 23 pages but actually seven slides now this can be a little bit uh, 
uh, frustrating if you if you especially have a pre- if you have especially want to take a print out and what happens is that if you take if you just print it out on a piece of paper then each of this will come as a separate slide and uh, definitely 